Turn it around to dark. Good afternoon, everyone, from Football Park. As you can see in the background, absolutely in magnificent condition this afternoon. There's not a breath of wind, and it will be a capacity crowd for the big clash between the Adelaide Crows and Richmond. I mentioned that the Tigers were annihilated here last year by 137 points. I don't think that will happen today. Under Jeff Geish and late last season, they really did turn it around, and they now are a very competitive unit. Let's check the ladder now, as it stands after half of round eight has been completed. And it looks like this, with the Western Bulldogs still on top. They play Hawthorne this afternoon from Sydney, beaten yesterday, St Kilda winners last night. Melbourne play Collingwood today from North Melbourne, Port Adelaide, Collingwood and then Richmond. A very important game for the Tigers and also the Crows here this afternoon at Footy Park. We had wet and cool conditions in the fog today, absolutely ideal for football. The ground, well, it looks like a patchwork quilt at the moment. Some recent work has been done. I don't think that'll affect it too much. Let's go to our central commentary position now. Very good afternoon to Dougie Hawkins and Jared Healy. Yes, thank you, Peter. And uh, what a day it is here in Adelaide. Perfect conditions. Sean Wren uh, has been an outstanding form and he may well play a major part in this game, Dougie. He certainly will, Jared. And, uh, and as well, Benny Gale has been great in the ruck for the Richmond side. So that contest... Uh, Jared's going to be a big star in the game, especially in the midfield as well for him. The weather has Darren Jarman written all over this match. It certainly has, and uh, I think he'll probably be picked up by, maybe by Duncan Callaway, I think, if he, particularly if he plays forward, Jared. So he'll be need to be watched very, very closely, Jarman. And Nigel Smart, along with McLeod and Caven, have been uh, one of the great strengths of this Adelaide side. And it is, of course, Nigel Smart's 150th game as we go down to one of the Hall of Famers in Neil Curley. Well, thank you, Jared. Well, Expect to see a really pumped up, aggressive, physical Richmond side. They are really uh, aggressive, physically aggressive in the rooms, and I expect them to really test the Crows out at the opening bounce. Knights and Daffy have always hurt the Crows. They're dangerous players, and of course, Richmond will be looking for a bit better luck on this ground where he's been unfortunate to crack his arm on two occasions. But as you said, Wren and Gale, that should be a very important duel. Very, very slight breeze, perhaps blowing to the left of screen. The Tigers keen to get revenge for what happened here last year when they were absolutely flogged by the Adelaide Crows. Campbell in solidly on Jarman. A quick kick comes out of the pack and James takes the mark, short of half forward. Foster going with Knights at the opening bounce. And you would say with that slight breeze, James too far out to score, looking for options. And now goes back. Perhaps indicating he's going to kick the ball long, which he does. Gets underneath it a little bit. And as Neil pointed out earlier, that sun's certainly going to be a factor. Campbell. Here's a chance for first goal. Jams it in. Bang! And puts it through for the Crows. Well, Dougie, it was pretty smart play there by Adelaide, without any doubt. Bond just waited until they cleared that uh, space 30 metres out from the top of the square. And he poked it into that space, as they did so successfully last week. Yeah, good start by Adelaide there, Jerry, as you just said there. Uh, as you said, Cochran certainly has the job on night. And as well, uh, Matt Connor looks like he might be uh, following Daffy as well. Rod Jamison, former winner of the goal kicking for the Adelaide Crows. That's going back a few seasons now. He's played a lot in defence, of course, since then. Crows swing into attack again. Knights goes down in the tackle. Umpire lets it go. Quick kick off the ground by Michael Gale. Bickley. Skipper's kick well inside 50. That's about as far as it's going. Harrison. Interesting Harrison starting across the half-back line. Had to look twice. Daffy. Kicks to half forward. Chance now for Evans. Takes it from Powell. Richardson. Good gather. Gee, that's pretty close. No score. Gee, it must have been right on the line. Wren wraps it up. That's it. The Crows defend for the first time in the match. Well, Jarman down in defence. Well, he started at that last centre bounce, and uh, we may well see Jeff Geeshan put Matthew Knights onto Darren Jarman at some stage just to break the tag because uh, he is getting heavily tagged, scragged at, uh, at this stage by Kim Costa. Sean Wren, 
has been mentioned as one of the favourites for the brown low. I don't think too many would argue with that at the moment. Bassett's kill over to Smart on his own. In fact, there's not a Richmond player within 35 metres of him. Nigel Smart from right half back puts the Crows into attack again. Gore bouncing beautifully. Tyson, a former Tiger himself, that might be out of bounds. Did he keep it in? He didn't, Jamison. And the boundary umpire, who was about 45 metres behind the play, decides it will be thrown in. in they call this one, Dougie. Gee. I reckon that was certainly in, uh, Jared. I no doubt the replay shows that. Keating gets front position. That's all. Doesn't get the footy. Knights. Chance to gather it in. Crows are plenty. James kicks out. And you see Knights on the end of it. Offloads it to Harrison. Kicks it to the man on the mark. Snapshot by Eccles. Misses. Gets the minor part of the prize. Smart play, young Eccles, Doug. Uh, it's great to see young talent coming through, and uh, we saw him kick a number of goals last week to really put his hand up to say uh, he's arrived as a footballer. Yeah, great smother there. Good call, Peter, there. And uh, the thing with Harrison, too, uh, Jared, he certainly started half back last week, too, against Melbourne. So maybe they do that and then maybe bring him forward later in the game. Scotty Turner, Gale, who's been having a very good season. Looks fitter than I think I've ever seen him. Keating in front. Got a fingernail to it. Gasper was there as well. Who's also having a good season. Speaking of players in form. And this throw in right in the middle of the interchange gates. And Jared, you caught it earlier before the game started. Nathan Bassett has the job on Richardson, as you did say. Yeah, pretty tough one. And uh, they're going pretty tall, the Tigers, because Holland's down there also being picked up by Hart. Tawny. Oh, not Tawny. was uh, Tyson. And Neil Curley is yeah, on the boundary line. Do you see uh, Brad Evans as a, as a surprise choice of centre half forward? That's an unusual one. Well, they've got a fair few reps on him, uh, Neil, and I think that they'll be looking for someone perhaps to play almost uh, in a negative role on Caven because he's such an attacking player for the Crows. Jarman's kick. Tyson. Turner nearly into his back. Jamison's hand pass. Oh. Gone. James. This could be another one. Done better, one behind. Got an opportunity missed there. Perfect setup. Ashley Prescott uh, is picking up Mark Rusciuto, who was in devastating form last week. Gasper and Keating, Doug, is going to be an interesting battle. Gasper's had a tremendous season, and Keating just starting to show some good form over the last few weeks. Yeah, Gasper was brilliant last week, Jared. He gave plenty of run to the Richmond defence and done a great job on David Swartz, cut him right out of the game. So that will be a very uh, even contest, I think. Rogers. Scotty Turner looking right into the sun. It's going to be difficult kicking in from that end. A little bit of body work by Gale. Gasper, Keating's got him, has to get rid of it quickly. Great tackle, but brushed aside by Gale, who kicks up towards half forward. Richardson. McLeod. Hart. Off the side of the boot. Purposely. Rusciuto. A little bit of a nudge, Gasper, Keating, taken out of the contest. Bomb from Rogers, onto the left, kicks it short, Jamison, good mark. Just in the light of the ground players of the Crows, they've really uh, got their act together early in this game. The likes of Rintoul, James and Bond. And if they throw Darren Jarman down there, they've got such a fleet-footed group of uh, goal kickers that they're going to be tough to stop in perfect conditions. Yeah, Jamison very quick over 10 metres. There may be a bit of a problem there for uh, Scotty Turner in that pace department. So Rod Jamison for his second goal. And is it coming back? Oh. It looks okay. It's there. Well, by Brian Sheehan to put it down again. And both sides uh, starting with an extra man in defence. Bickley's alone for the Crows, and I would imagine that's because Ben Harrison has started as a spare man for the Tigers in defence. Jarman again starting at the centre square, in the circle. As the Crows try to run it forward, they don't have the success here that they would have wanted. And that could almost be a push in the back to Powell, but the umpire says no oh. siree. Throw it in. Yes, that was Tad High and Joel Bowden. 
going to be an interesting battle between Bowden and uh, Nigel Smart, two brilliant players. And I would imagine both will kick goals this afternoon. Rusciuto, Prescott, Gale, a little give tonight. That was Michael Gale. Back into the Richmond side. Daffy loves a goal, needs to bend that one around. And then he's kicked it. First blood to Richmond. Well, he's quite an extraordinary player at times, Nick Daffy. He throws the ball on the boot so quickly. Often, he, I think, does it uh, without full knowledge that he's got more time than he has to uh, just steady and balance. But just have a look at this. He is clear. He could keep running into goal, but he just throws it on the boot. Sometimes it works for him, as that one did. Yeah, one of Jared was going for the pass to Richardson in the goal score. I'm not quite sure on that one, but certainly the goal was there. So good play by the Tigers. Great goal by Daffy. You posed the question during the break, Doug, whether it was intended to be a pass, but I don't think he'll want it back just the same. Wren. Harrison. Cave it underneath Evans. And he gets it. Looks for a hand pass to Bowden. Good tackle, smart, in the back. Not a good tackle. Interesting. What do you think of that? Well, just going back to the previous one, uh, Ben Harrison started in the centre bounce and took the ball away. I was following him, Peter, and not looking at the action. Well, often you get uh, controversy, push in the back, good tackle. So Holland, judging by Daffy's kick, distance shouldn't be a problem, and wind is certainly not really a factor. If anything, it's going Richmond's way. But virtually windless here today. Well, hit the post. It looks like he might have got one right on the snows. And Ben Holland, who is a terrific shot at uh, goal these days. He's obviously done a lot of work under his uh, numerous coaches over the last few years. He's got a very copybook style, though. He certainly has, Jared. He's got a good pair of hands, too. And uh, as you can see, as you said, Jarman playing the midfield, picked up by Duncan Calloway. That's it to Hart. Players work it out of defence, and they come away now through Connell up to midfield. Smart getting a lot of possessions early in the game. Gone. And Connell's run right across from the other side of the ring. Out of bounds, right half forward. Connell former best and fairest for the Adelaide Crows when they're back in 1995. Phil said it was warm down there, and Keating would be pretty warm in that helmet, I'd reckon, today. Prescott. Goes for the boundary line and gets it. Again, right in the middle of the interchange gates. Be a good deal, that one. McLeod and Daffy. He started picking up Powell, and Powell, uh, one suspects, has pushed onto the ball. That's just a shuffle to your uh, midfield attack. Harrison again did well off one step. Kicks it down towards left half forward. Powell takes the hand pass from Evans. Centering kick. Could have been delivered a little bit better, but two Richmond players are there. Harrison takes the hand pass at half forward. Kicks it goal. Gets Richmond second. Harrison's hand pass to Harrison, resulting in Richmond's second goal. And the difference back to two points. In fact, one point. 14 plays 13, 13 minutes left in the first quarter. And you'd reckon already we're going to be seeing a high-scoring game. Campbell's kick up to half forward. Off the hands of the pack, Evans, drag, might have been taken high. Umpire lets it go. Evans kicks to right half forward. Should be, and in fact is a Richmond mark taken by Callaway. Two Callaways in the Richmond side today. Knight's kick up towards centre wing. And the skipper has it marked down there by Bowden. And Jeff Geeshan has continued to experiment with this uh, midfield, and he's pushed Matthew Knights for the second week in a row back to the half-back line. Prescott from Gale. Well, that's a mammoth kick. That is a mammoth kick. Swire. That's the way you want it delivered into the forward line, though. That's the way you got to do it, Jared. I'll tell you what, uh, young Holland's got a great pair of hands. It could be a bit of a test there for, uh, for Ben Hart, particularly in the air in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Doug, you played in a memorable victory here for the uh, Roy boys. Uh, they've done it well, the Tigers. You've got to get on top early. You've got to go on top early. Yeah, back to Fitzroy, 95. It was fantastic, Jerry. He's hit the post once, but that's a goal. Richmond in front. 
Tigers, after Adelaide got the first two goals, Richmond have kicked the next three. The difference, five points. Bounce favours Wren, James. In the thick of things early, Keating, so nearly brought it down. Gasper, but shepherd by Michael Gale, goes past Cataway, looks for Harrison. From Connell. Gets it back again from Duncan Callaway. Decides to kick long. Cave it in the front. McLeod. They share it around. Jarman. Tyson. Gale nearly got him. Close to the boundary line. Out of bounds, in fact, on centre wing. Curls, you've got something for us? Yeah, I think at ground level here you'll find that Richmond are going to the favoured end, not, uh, not only with the win, but also with their forwards not having to contend with the sun. Yeah, that's a real factor, isn't it? Something you don't think of this time of the year. Perfect one day, better the, better the next here well, in uh, Adelaide, Pope. I hope he's got his factor 15 on. A real scramble there. Opportunity for Tawny. Rogers number four. And then again out of bounds. Jared, the move of Ben Harrison playing that like, like a loose man in the fence or maybe in that midfield. Had eight or nine possessions already. It's been a good move by Geishan. Well, it may just work for a quarter, but it's uh, it's had the, it had its, its desired effect getting the Tigers into a competitive position early in the first quarter. And if you can just keep a, a lid on the home sides uh, in these one team or two team, one town uh, situations, then you've got a pretty good start. Gale and Wren go at it again. Michael Gale, tackled by Wren. Prescott's all tied up. And the umpire will ball it up again. Just at the moment, Sean Wren hasn't been able to get into this match. No, well, it was Jarman, really, has he? No, he's had a couple of possessions, but uh, certainly hasn't had them forward to the centre where he does so much damage. And if Gale can just nullify the influence of uh, Wren, I'm sure his coach will be pretty pleased. Big punch away there. Evans. Now Duncan Callaway from midfield. Callaway out wide towards left half forward. It's a one-on-one -on -one contest. Daffy from Richardson. Oh, Mark should have been swallowed by Prescott. And he may get a free kick. Held quite a long way in the tackle. Duncan Callaway's kick. McLeod. Kicks to a contest on centre wing. Very sandy part of the ground. Keating, Campbell. May have been taken high. Crowd one's holding the ball. Tyson, good shepherd by Keating. His kick up towards right half forward for the Crows. Knocked away, knocked on by Rogers actually. Bond off the ground. Very hard to kick goals from there. In fact, the ball nearly out of bounds. Boundary umpire says okay. Knight's taken out of that contest. Oh, Barty. Just about knocked out. Knights. Beautiful vision. Callaway. Campbell. Campbell, 15 metre hand pass to Daffy. Who kicked Richmond's first goal, kicks towards half four, and the mark is there. It's taken by Evans, who's doing well so far. What's happened here, Jared? Uh, Darren Jarman's gone forward or gone in the midfield. It looks like now that Duncan Callaway's just sitting off him and playing a kick behind the play. Red Evans played for Springvale and their premiership sides, 95 and 96. He's played 17 games in the reserves for Richmond, including the uh, the premiership last year that kick won't be a goal there he is again holland just too big at the moment he's got ben hart as a direct opponent and it was a fair bit of shepherding behind him by uh, matthew richardson who may well have just impeded the second man up it's defensive uh, strategy but once again this is a uh, almost a certain goal and a great start by richmond and it's been the midfield dominance that's set this game up I said before, Barty was just about knocked out and he's going to be uh, out of the game, at least for a while, to be placed, uh, replaced by Rintour. Oh, I think you're right. Crook. Uh, he's crook. He's as crook as uh, Rook. Rook. You'd want to be. Uh, Saturday afternoon. Holland gets the goal. His second. He's kicked 2-1. Two, one. one by Ben Holland. Proving a real handful. Difference out to 11 points in favour of Richmond. Wren, work to James, time. Callaway tries to punch and does it effectively, Keating tried to get it out to Bond, not as effectively, Campbell does it well, Harrison, they share it around from Tawny, 10 possessions, which is quite remarkable at this stage of the first quarter, 
Evans and Caven. Connell. Probing kick. Tawny underneath it. Gasper. With some pretty good support. Evans again. Caven this time defensively and effectively out of bounds. I think with the height factor down in the forward line for Richmond with Ben Holland, I reckon maybe Malcolm Blight may need to put uh, Smart maybe back on the Holland and put Hart up the ground onto Bowden. That might be a good move for Malcolm Blight. Yeah, it certainly makes sense from a uh, height perspective as we see Scotty Turner take out Vardy. Mm. And uh, he's still sitting on the bench. He's not too good. Curls might have some news for us on that shortly as Rogers takes the mark at right half back. Goes in board, Prescott. As you mentioned, Hawk is in a bit of form at the moment. Smart, good effective punch. This is a great game of footy. Ideal conditions. It's almost like a, a finals atmosphere, weather-wise at least. James, Wren. Kicks off a standing start to half forward. And the Crows want something here. They're not going to get it. Gasper. Marking in front of Keating. Campbell. And to Gale. It's Benny Gale. He'll look for Tawny going past. Richardson. Oh, yes! Nearly the mark. Kicked off the ground past Caven. Has to make ground. Holland again. Oh, thump! Connell. Throws to Fintz under a lot of pressure in the last 10 minutes or so. Snapshot by Bowden is off target. The mark is it there. Umpires paid it to Peter Caven. In fact, I think it was a pretty fair kick by Bowden. Peter, he, he definitely snapped it to the top of the square. I'm sure that'd be team rules, but unfortunately, it wasn't a tiger on the end of it. James. Keating. Oh, still can't hold the marks. He's got his hands on the ball quite a few times, but hasn't been able to drag it in. Good smothered there by the big fellow. Maybe a turnover here can suit the Crows. Rashudo. Jamison, who kicked their first goal outside 50. Good block there by Turner. Knights. Well, Richmond playing with a lot of commitment so far. Turner to Campbell. Gale. Kick behind the play. Wren comes at him. Holland again, or oh, Hart lost sight of it in the sun. As uh, Neil Curley mentioned, that's certainly a factor. Down to Curls. Yeah, I think the pitcher told the story there with young Vardy. He suffered a heavy knock to the head. The doctors checked him out. There is slight concussion, so I have to wait to see if he can take any further part in the game. David Pittman about to come on. Curls, uh, would he go into the ruck and rent forward, or are they concerned about Ben Holland in defence? I think he might be concerned about centre-half forward at this stage. Yep. Eccles, just great Mister. pressure from the Tigers, causing a turnover. Well, that's stunning across their half-back line. They've certainly got their tails up now. Powell delivers it well, Bowden. McLeod, a great tackles up. The commitment of both sides, tremendous. Bowden again. The man is just too tall. Good call from Neil Curley there with uh, Keating coming off the ground and Pittman on the take on Gasper. Jarman. Well, he really hasn't been able to get into the play, which is surprising. You'd think conditions today made for him. Up to midfield, Bickley. Just wants to steady the ship a little bit for the Crows. Went into the matches, fairly warm favourites. Pittman goes in short. Eccles. Smart player, Eccles. You just saw the way he ran towards uh, Pittman and then ducked back as soon as he knew he was going to receive and dropped into some space and finished with a footy himself. Former captain of the Preston Knights. And some chance from here, pretty big kick. But against uh, against a slight breeze. Now, McLeod, I don't know whether he's uh, indisposed at the moment. He just applied that very effective tackle. I'll have some news on that in a minute. Oh, that's a terrible kick. Could have done a lot better with that. They still might get something out of it. Costa, Jamison, oh, tripped up, surely. And 50. And 50 metres as well. I must admit, I didn't see what the 50 metres was for. Well, if you trip by hand, Peter, it's oh, an yes. automatic okay. chain, 50 metres. So whilst it was a desperate performance. 
uh, it played the odds for Price here. He's been good, Jamison. He's kicked two. This could be his third goal. And uh, the move of Keating off the ground and uh, Pittman at centre forward has already worked for Malcolm Blight. He's still running the show from the bench here, Curls, isn't he? He's the best for <laughs> Curly. He's just too good. Now let's see. Yep. My hand. Took a decent off divot too. Jamison kicks his third. Malcolm Blight put Ellen up forward in the grand final today he's got Jamison there doing the job he's also got Mark Rusciuto at full forward right now Gale Eccles in the middle Eccles will be keen to make amends for that bad kick before but it's smart lovely run lovely ball from 60 metres out could have done better no one crumbing except Callaway but deep in the Crows attacking area Rogers overruns it Costa confronted too high might get a free kick he will get a free kick girls yeah this opening by Richmond does not surprise me at all the, the tension and the enthusiasm in the room before the game was very very high and I thought that come out very strong leaders on bond taken down in the tackle play on call James likewise taken down on the tackle Ben Gale smarts got him has another dip at him James handball has he kicked it? Yes. What with numbers? This was a good get. Uh, Connolly looks so much like a number of other players out there. But you picked him in one. And it's, uh, Dougie, I think Mark. the difference has been that a number of key players for the Crows have lifted their work rate. Yeah, no doubt. Ren, Nigel Smart coming down the ground. As we said before, playing 150 game. He come down the ground. He's tackled. On Ben Gale, certainly got the ball to come loose, and uh, great goal there by Connell. Well, I'll tell you what, they don't intend running a marathon here because they've opened like Oakley Platers, haven't they? 4-2 <laughs> to 4-1, and uh, under these conditions, Curl said it was hot. It's going to be a survival of the fittest here this afternoon. Harrison, out to Campbell. Oh, gee, that's a towering kick. Richardson at the back. Couldn't complete the mark. A little toe poke out there by Bassett. Daffy. And he's content to take it over. And a breather. Well, Prescott started in the middle for that centre bounce, but uh, Jeff Geeshan has now just effected a change, and he's got Prescott to go all the way with Rusciuto. Dan uh, playing now at fullback, and Callaway just uh, at the moment working his way up into the midfield. Evans coming from what was then the VFA, now the VFL in Springvale. Does look pretty tough. <laughs> Wayne Campbell's lifted his work rate too. He's had about nine or ten possessions. Started the game very slowly. Was he picked up by James. Well, he's playing on the wing, I think. Been picked up by James R. Tyson. Out of bounds again. So they'll all be content to take a little bit of a breather. 26 to 25. And we've got under two minutes left in the first quarter. A crackerjack affair here at Footy Park. Ran over the top. Daffy overruns it. Bickley did the hard work. Tries to get it to a teammate. Connell kicks it across his body. Gale couldn't complete the mark. Rogers taken down. There's a free kick here. Going to Rogers. Rogers at right centre wing. Holland again in the front. Bowden confronted. Jarman's got him. Crowd once holding the ball. Jarman again. He's ridden into the ground. They're putting oh. the whistles away. <laughs> Harrison. He'll give it to Gale. No, he won't. He's gone further back to Rogers. Mungrel punt off the boot. Smart in front. Richardson or nearly took a screamer. McLeod. Hart from half back up towards centre field. That's just great Good skill. Tool. Being able to pinpoint a play coming out of the fence like that was brilliant. He had strong hands though, didn't he? Prescott gets back quickly. Confronted. Gasper tries to brush the tackle. Prescott again from Campbell. Another mark taken by Tawney on centre wing. Game at breakneck speed. That side would love another goal before the quarter time siren, which isn't too far away. Benny Gale. 
Gets it out to Harrison. Powell. A little give to Bowden. Bends that one back, but not enough. That might be out of the full it is. Brendan Gale's done very well, uh, picking up six possessions to date. The Tigers are looking for him, just trying to make uh, Sean Wren uh, more accountable. So Sh Sean Wren hasn't been able to play that loose man uh, through the middle of the ground. He's got a man he's got to worry about. Bassett. To bring the ball back. Gale. Ball right on the side. He'll have a shot. Torby or drop punt here, Doug? I reckon drop punt. The bloke, listen, he can kick the ball, uh, Jared, as we all know. Benny Gallagher, there's no doubt he's on top of Schwimmer at this stage of the game. And, uh, well, Jared, would you kick the top or you go the, the drop punt, maybe? Well, I couldn't uh, have ever made even half the distance <laughs> with a drop punt. So, <laughs> on the same throw, boat. Throw the top in and hope for the best. Kick a big mongrel top, have a crack at it. Well, one thing in his favour, he's got whatever breeze there is at his back. He's also got the sun at his back. It's not a good thing, but... So Brendan Gale from about 53 metres. Plenty of tall throws back in the goal square, but they're not needed. It's off the side of the boot. No further score in the first quarter, and he's not happy. And with the drop punt going like Doug, Doug he said, I knew I should have tried it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's always good to be wise after the event, isn't it? <laughs> so, a much closer game than uh, the one last year, late in the season, at quarter time at Footy Park. Adelaide 4 2 26, leading Richmond 4 1 25. Back. Crunches the Tigers like to see. Magnificent football park this afternoon. Just about a capacity crowd for this clash. One point the difference at quarter time. Key forwards in action. Rob Jamison kicked three in the opening term. And Connell won from a terrific snap. Ben Holland has kicked two. And uh, the behind that he kicked hit the post. So a great quarter of football. And I'm sure enjoying it just as much down there, Neil Curley. Yes, yeah, certainly, Peter. Well, it's not difficult to see why the Richmond players are very enthusiastic and very pumped because their coach is certainly that. I don't know how long he's going to last in the game, that chap, but he's very, very <laughs> emotional. But he had his instructions on paper. He knew exactly what he wanted to say at quarter time. He went to five players. He spent a lot of time with Scott Turner, no doubt, of course, to play a much tighter role on Rod Jamison, who's already kicked the three goals. But very emotional, very, but, but not so much demanding, just encouraging. It was, it was a very good message to his players, and I think they will respond, whereas Malcolm Blight... On the other hand, pretty, pretty, pretty low key, but uh, gets a very strong message across to his players. He just wants to be more direct down the ground and kick long with his breeze. Thanks, Curls. Put your factor 15 on. Second quarter. One point the difference. Gale and Wren had a great battle in the first quarter. His honours probably going to Benny Gale. The ball is shuffled at the McLeod at left centre wing. Kicks across his body down towards left half forward. Chance for. Uh, Gasper kicks to a contest on centre wing. Now Connell measures the kick back to Wren. Off a step, stands and delivers up towards centre half forward. Jarman just a little bit of a push. Five kicks in the first quarter. Jarman said, oh, How easy is that? Well, he made it look easy, didn't he? Well, he's one of the most talented players that there is going around. And Jamison knew that if he could just wait, hold his lead up, and then find some space, he was going to get the ball out uh, in a position where he could take an easy mark. Jason Dunstall said he was the best player he ever had delivering the ball to him. And I reckon every full forward would be delighted to have him in the team. Jamison's kick. Oh, he's got another one. That's four. Well, Doug, I don't think you could blame Scotty Turner for that one. The disposal was uh, perfect. Carl Lewis couldn't have intercepted that. Yeah, not you. <laughs> Dead right there, Jared. The lead was very good, too. He dummied the lead and then ducked back to his left-hand side. And once again, Sean Wren got a couple of quick touches uh, in the start of this second quarter. It was very important. And McLeod, as well, was a great player, too. And Rashido's shuffle out at that first centre bounce was uh, fantastic. And they're the important possessions. 
Four goals to Rod Jamison. By Brian Sheehan puts it down again. Well, the Crows getting it out of the centre. McLeod to half forward. Chad Rintoul. To far oh. the score. Kicked into the mat on the mark. Tawny. Will they pay the ultimate price? Oh, Pato, oh. what a mark! <laughs> Terrific grab, Daffy. Oh, shot and kick. Oh, there's a kicking, letting them down both sides at the moment. Wren. Well, this is one of the problems with Daffy's game. He does just throw the ball on the boot at times. It works for him often, but he should have hit a target with that one. Funnel to Jarman, to McLeod. Oh, a worm burn of that one. Knights intercepting. Costa. Jamison, oh, terrible hand pass intended for Rintoul. They might get out of this, Richmond. Turner, they will get out of it. To Michael Gale. Well, a couple of... But it might prove very costly turnovers there from both sides. Oh. Wren, another turnover. Oh, beautiful. No, he can't do that. It's wow. going to come back. Why can't you do that, Tom? Because that by Brian Sheen said he couldn't. Fair enough. <laughs> Generally, that's good enough. You may have called time on. That would be the only reason, I think, that uh, that brilliant handball was disallowed. Shame for Adelaide fans. Sean Wren can kick long. He'll do that again. Jamison in front. Off the ground. And that was from uh, Johnson. What's he done? One behind. Let's go to Curls. Yes, a, a very interesting move here by Malcolm Blight. Caven, who's been a very good centre-half back uh, last year and this year, has been taken off. And Orman Allen has gone on to um, Evans there. That's an interesting one. Well, they're both pretty tough. They've got that in common. Could be a pretty interesting matchup, that. Wren, jostling with Gale. Rusciuto went without it. Costa didn't. Oh, lovely evasion. Kicks from 49 metres. Costa into the goal square. Eccles was pushed out. Turner's got the mark. That was a decent old shove from Scotty Turner, who decides to take him on again. And well done. Beautifully delivered. Harrison. They're struggling up to Sonar Ford there, Jared. No doubt, Rich. They've got no one up to Sonar Ford. Maybe Holland may have to come to the ground. Bowden, nearly. And nearly out of bounds. Good buck by Tawny. Campbell, smart. Tries to get it past Bowden. Tawny's there. Rim tool intercepting again. Gee, we've seen some turnovers at the start of this quarter. And the mark is taken by Bond. Well, Bowden just gave that one away. He obviously handballed to the voice, but uh, the voice had a gross jumper. Bond, gee, that's not a bad sort of a roost. Oh, oh, Eccles. Costa should kick a goal. No, he can't. Jamison again. Can he get his fifth? He can't. That's out of bounds. Great to see some desperate football by both teams. Oh, what a match. The Tigers uh, on their last line have just uh, orchestrated a fantastic save. He Ooh. nearly brought that down. Darren Bennett would have been pleased with that hang time. He would have. Bond. Tyson. Rogers has just about got him. Still Tyson. Went down hard in the tackle. Knights beautifully done from the Richmond skipper. Gale. With a bit of run to get around Wren. And Wren's nearly got him. Great tackle. Duncan Callaway. Out of bounds on the floor. It's all pressure, Jared, isn't it? Well, I think that uh, after a slow start uh, in that department, the Crows have uh, responded in the, on their home ground, and the Tigers certainly haven't uh, shrunk back either. They're going at it pretty hard. We're going to have a very good game of footy. James to Pittman. I think you're right, though, Doug. The, the Tigers are just struggling on that half-forward line. Can't penetrate into their uh, attacking zone. Harrison missed it. Bond. Eccles, Turner. Knights. So Eccles nearly had him. Well, James overran it. Gets a second chance. Off the side of the boot to Richmond. Scotty Turner on his own. One of the real tough nuts in Tigerland. That's a good kick. That's been the exception rather than the rule in this quarter, though. But he's had to come down almost yep. to half that flank to get a uh, position. Power from Richardson. No one had a kick. Oh, gee, another bad kick. Oh, great bump by Mark Bickley on the rim. They both felt that. And he's the first uh, change. 
uh, in Jeff Geeshan's restructuring of this forward line, bringing uh, Marinda onto the ground, Doug. They had a bit of pace around their forward line there, Jared. I'd still like to see Knight come back up into the midfield or maybe drag Costa into the Richmond forward line. Chance for the Crows, picked up by Ormond Allen. Right. Oh, that's a mark. Oh, what? Penny Guy asks the question, and so do I. Oh. Says no play on Connell, goal kicker in the first quarter. Evans gets up to stand the mark. Well, the mongrel punt certainly been on display here in this last uh, 15 minutes. It has. That's all due to the pressure, I think, from both sides in the middle. Pittman, nearly. Ken Cole. Well, pressure again. He kicked into the man straight in front of him. That's just about out of bounds. But it is out of bounds from Connell. I well, haven't seen the Woomer banger used in football for a long time, but the Ron Barassi inverted uh, screw punt was on display there. <laughs> Is it the uh, the condition of the ground, this sand that's causing that? I don't think so. It wasn't affected, uh, affecting the game of the first quarter. I think it's just the pressure. James to Wren. Gale runs straight into a tackle. Grant wants to hold in the ball decision. There is a free kick. It's going the other way. Too high, I guess. And played by the umpire who wasn't in control of the match. A bit like the was uh, the central umpire. It's been overruled. Is that Humphrey Smith down there, Joe? I think it is the hyphen. <laughs> Humphrey Smith. Harrison. Kicks it the half forward. It's as far as it's going. Good block down there by Nathan Bassett. From Norwood. Render's uh, gone to full forward. He's gone with Smart. And I reckon Jeff Gershon would be pretty pleased to have Smart away from the half back line. Smart's been giving them a lot of drive there, hasn't he? James, a little fumble. Tried to get it out to Hart. James gets it back again. That's a good kick. Plenty of distance with it. Callaway in front. Opposite number three, Jarman. Dives on top of it. Still Callaway. Gasper. Good shepherd. Enables him to affect the hand pass. Campbell. Equally long hand pass to Michael Gale. Michael Gale at right half forward. Eccles can't catch him. Puts it up high. Wrench should punch and does. Ball hits the deck. Scooped out by Hyde. Nearly a throw. Curve one of that. McLeod. James running with him. He's got a couple of options. Decides to go longer. Kicks up towards Rashudo. Can't complete the mark. Prescott there. So too Costa. That will be a free kick. And what about the skill of Andrew McLeod? Generally, the great uh, ball players can run at full flight uh, with the hands along the ground. Not too many of them, I might add, but the likes of Alex Jezelenko is a great ball controller. Daryl Baldock, those brilliant Kevin Bartlett boys, the guys that have got the ball on a string can do that. Costa's kick, ineffective as it turned out. Jamison, their main target, having to give chase, but he's not going to get a kick here. It goes to Michael Gale. Michael Gale at right half back. Great vision. Evans to right half forward. Duncan Callaway, the two number threes. Jarman cannons into Harrison. Jarman down, but gets up pretty quickly. Marking contest at full forward. Bickley, a quick kick. Doesn't clear the danger zone. Pass Johnson. Chance for Wren. Smart, beautifully done. Great touch. He's in terrific form. Smart from half back. He runs again. Puts the Crows deep into attack by Eccles. The hand pass. Back to Smart. Left hand handball onto Johnson. Eccles goes at goal, deserves a goal. At the post! The climax, not what they would have wanted. Great play there by Smart. He just come down the ground, and uh, as you said before, Jared, they've been forced to play him back and uh, deep into the uh, Adelaide defence with Miranda coming onto the ground, but he just kept coming and coming. Miranda did give chase, but just couldn't keep up. And he's a brilliant player, Smart. Neil Curley says he might be a little bit tender at the moment. For Adelaide, let's hope that isn't the case. This is a good duel between Callaway and Jarman. Certainly one of the, uh, well, one of the duels of the day. Jarman, just looking at his stats, he had five kicks in the first quarter, but he hasn't been a goal kicker yet, which is perhaps surprising. Richmond could get a goal here through Evans. 25 metres out and closing, he kicks it in the Richmond Reserves Premiership side last year, getting the goal for the Tigers and reducing Adelaide's lead to just three points now early in the second quarter. Campbell overruns it. Callaway, as I said, great deal with Jarman. Backs it. And what a find this young man, young man is. 
the McLeod. He's got a panic to move in. No mark to Pittman. Come away again, the Knights. Daffy. It's a better kick from Daffy. It is. That's beautiful kick. Beautifully delivered to Richardson. Player on his own is Holland, who found some space at the corresponding time of the first quarter to kick two goals, one. And he may start off the second term again by putting Richmond once again back in the lead. Looks a lot more comfortable, Matthew Richardson, up the ground out of that goal square where he can run Bassett around and uh, he's had two or three very important touches over the last couple of minutes. Against the slight breeze, Ben Hovind for his third. And off the hands for a rush behind. Behind the Tigers. The difference is back to two points. 5-4 to 5-2. Norman Dallin. A little bit of a blonde rinse in the hair. He was more red last year, wasn't he? Rin. Good hand pass. James has been busy. Kick could have been a little bit better weighted. It was intended... James Tyson, who played seven games with Richmond back in the 1993 season. The Tigers have given away the uh, matchup at full back. Scotty Turner's just now a loose man, and uh, Callaway has gone uh, on to Jamison. Connell. That's A. Callaway. Rogers. That's a throw. And he's oh. him for it. Well, he just had to keep it on the ground, Jared, didn't he? Well, it's uh, an interesting one, but uh, when you scoop the ball, you generally give the umpire no other uh, option than to give the, the call or throw, and I think, uh, Dougie, that was probably fair enough. Yeah, good call. I think the decision there, uh, Joe, uh, Jared was spot on. Should have punched the ball then. Yep. Rusciuto. Gets the goal. Lofted it. Had he kept it along the ground, it probably wouldn't have been free kick. Now we have a set of square infringement, and it's going to Richmond. Benny Gale. Unforgivable. Glad he went like that. Holland the fire again. Smart. Crumbs the better for Adelaide. The two number threes again. Callaway and Jarman. Michael Gale. It's around Johnson. A bad kick. Bassett. Cloud is just really going with Bassett. Connell. Oh, it's a hospital job. Benny Guy getting the free kick. Now gets the order to play on from the umpire. Lovely centering kick to Richardson. Son of Factor. Powell read it well. So the Tigers may be able to get the quick reply. This is the most difficult pocket at football park, so the experts tell me from which to kick a goal. Did you go with a banana or a boomerang, Doug, or just you... I trust the drop punt. I think Jared made the drop punt from there. Runs around, kicks, close, misses. I suppose it'd be a bit tough to do a boomerang with if you're a left footer. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the, uh, what they call it, the boomerang, the check sign or the screw kick. Yeah, if you're a right footer. <laughs> Hart. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Confused everybody. Dren, <laughs> simply too tall. Holland did well. It's a good battle, though, between Wren and Gar. Coddle. Plenty of possessions. Kicked a great snap goal in the first quarter. Rusciuto. Johnson. Well, this crum is waiting for uh, the ball to hit the deck. Daffy kick. Jarman. Too far out to score. Darren Jarman hasn't yeah. scored a goal today. Nick, Nick Daffy's got to look a bit when he gets the footy. He just seems to kick the ball blindly. Doesn't give his uh, teammates any chance. 
They might have a chance here. Tyson snaps, but registers only one behind. And I think in all fairness too, Jared, I mean, you, you are in the, the back line, you're under enormous pressure. Sometimes the option is to kick it out long, but as well, I think you should look for it up the ground, look to your teammate as well. Yeah, it's vital to maintain possession. I think that's uh, a common, a modern day law of footy. No point clearing the space if the ball just comes back straight back over your head. Michael Gale from Turner's kick in. Kill away to Daffy. Evans. Crumbs it well. Norman Allen. He read that one well. He was a couple of steps in front of his direct opponent. In Harrison. And to Johnson. Almost a look alike. Pittman. Needs to get it to James and does. James has been busy at right half forward. Evans closing. Not a great kick. And the mark has taken. Down here for the Tigers by Andrew Kellaway, playing only his second game. The runner up in the Tigers' best and fairest last year, reserves best and fairest. Well, oh, Mark, free kick, whatever. And he had his ponytail removed. Michael Gale, the Benny Gale, the brothers share it around. Prescott. Smart. Richardson. Duncan Kellaway, McLeod, the Norm Smith medalist. Bassett. Crow's defence standing up well under pressure. Tyson. Tyson marks in a win. Now Jarman. Love to watch this fellow with the football. Still Jarman. Doesn't cap it off there with a goal. Went so very close, but only one behind. In fact, Jarman's first score of the day. Just starting to work uh, up into that forward zone though. Starting to become a little bit more dangerous. Has created uh, one already in this term with this pass to Jamison. Inside the forward 50, no more dangerous player. It's Campbell, Ashley Blurton in the meantime coming on for Richmond. He's on his own at midfield too, Blurton. If Campbell sees him, he hasn't. Oh, oh, Ormond Allen took off like a 707. It was a free kick. The advantage paid. There's Blurton from Duncan Callaway's hand pass. Harrison claimed. Richardson. Ben Hart. Rusciuto. James. They're running in numbers out of the fence. This is Connell. Connell from short of left centre wing. Big pack of players. Gasper was there. Knights comes it well. Will he give it to Rogers? Now he goes to Campbell. Probably that option may have been better. McLeod, always busy. Not a great kick. Collision time. Ball hits the deck. Evans went past without it. Rogers didn't. Blurton, first touch of the day. Had a meal of the mark. Didn't matter, as it turned out. Back to Campbell. Tyson off for Chad Wintour. Coming on for the Crows. Miranda. Yes, no. Smart. Missed it. Knights. You give it to Harrison. Harrison in the pocket. Richardson at the back. Sit. Cut now. Well done from Hart. Richardson has to beat two snaps. Close, but not close enough. Ball still in play. Ormond Allen takes the mark. We've got the loose players here. The Crows have got another one up the middle. And that's the way they like to play. Keep it wide and then just spear the long ball into a leading forward. James to Rintoul. Until the half court, Blurton. And that turnover would be uh, making the coach pretty incensed, you reckon? Wood, Daffy. Benny Gale. He works so hard to get it up there. Blurton. Well, he hasn't had a man since he's come on, and he's had three possessions. Richardson. Too far out to score. He's kicking three quarters from goal from there. Powell nearly. Oh, Rashuda taken high. Bickley. Johnson around Campbell. Kicks to right half forward. Rogers, Bond, Daffy, McLeod. They're all having a dip. Bond wins with speed. It's taken in the back. Free kick. Obvious enough. 
Interestingly, though, uh, Dougie, when Johnson got that ball across the half-back line, he turned to look for the support runner, and uh, Orman Allen hadn't uh, left the blocks. And I reckon that uh, that's the sort of thing that Malcolm Blight would be focusing on at half-time, that whilst they're playing quite well, they haven't got this game in their control by any means, and they're not just getting enough run as they have done uh, through the last 12 months. Bond's kick into the goal square. Jamison off the ground, I think touched. He might have had a desperate lunge from uh, Scotty Turner that saved that goal, but... Let's see who did touch it. Colin Parr, very quick to indicate it was touched. Yeah. I think it's about time now Matthew Knight's come out of that back line and just went and got the football. He's only had about five or six possessions so far. Costa's doing the job on him, so I think uh, Jeff Gershon should bring him up onto the ball and maybe into the forward line. Oh, Connell, the Rangers attempt the mark, not paid. Tyson. Good tackle. Comes down to Tawny. The ball to be one on centre wing. And the kick off the ground out of bounds. It came from Ashley Burton, who now has an opponent. That was a great, fantastic tackle there by Tawny. Fingertip job, but just enough to keep the Tigers in the game. That opponent is Connell, who goes at Burton. That's nearly holding the ball. Nearly, but not quite. A minute and a half before half time. 6-7 to 5-3 in favour of Adelaide. They've worked hard for a 10-point lead. Men in white. They might be working a bit, of, a bit of a sweat today too. Connell. Short kick. Burton again. He's done well since he's come on. Good defence. Norman Allen. The educated twist to the boundary line. So throw in. Right half forward for Richmond. Big chance for Richmond to come within a kick. If the Tigers can get a goal via this forward thrust. Campbell did the ruck work. Kellaway and Johnson. As Duncan Kellaway holding the ball. And the, the advantage is paid. So Campbell goes at goal. Miranda. Smart. Still Miranda. Richardson will bend it back. The snapshot, the bounce is going to be effective. Orman now it snares it just inside. Proctor down there. He's just come onto the ground as well. Rogers, great attempt to mark. McLeod confronted. Bond. Daffy out of bounds. And Richmond making another change. Bowden is going to come back on. Harrison off. And the locals are incensed by this one. And it's uh, easy to see why. It was clearly you could say that was a handball. Maybe with the high tackle too there, I think Ray looked. Galen Wren. And the clock ticking down to just a few seconds. Richmond needs a mark here. Holland, can he give them a goal? He's kicked a couple already. A one-on-one -on -one duel. Punch away by Orman Allen again. Campbell touched the hand pass from Bowden. Back to Bowden on the left. Oh. Slows off the side of the boot. Blurton. As the siren goes to end two action packed quarters of football here. What a game this has been. I said earlier, Jared and uh, Hawk, that it's going to be a survival of the fittest, and it really is, isn't it? Well, I think both sides, uh, Doug, have worked very, very hard across the ground, but neither side has got their forward line set up perfectly to uh, make the most of their opportunities. Just on the one there, you have to admire him coming from Melbourne last year, a little bit stiff to miss out in the grand final side, but uh, he really has made a footballer of himself over the last 18 months or so. But the game's set up for a big second half. Yes, yeah, certainly, and uh, Bloody has a big rap for Ormond Allen, certainly bring him back into the side. I just felt the Richmond midfield start to slow down a bit, particularly with Knight playing in the fence. I think it's very important he comes now up under the midfield to give him a chop out there. All right, so at half time, the Crows leading Richmond by 10 points, 6 7 to 5 3, back at Footy Park on a moment forward nicely with precision which is something a lot of his teammates are not doing but it's up for grabs this game still but I still favour the Crows at this stage well Dougie you've got your wish obviously Jeff Gushin has uh, been listening to you Matthew Knight's in the centre and let's see if he can do some damage yes with Costa Rogers a quick kick Bowden they'd like to get more out of him too Jared wouldn't they struggled a little bit uh, along with Richo they're the two players and Knights that they need to uh, lift the Tigers Norman Allen off the ground to Cottle who's been certainly one of Adelaide's stars today on the stat sheet. 
Well, how did Jarman get clear there? The cutaway fall over. Yeah, he slipped over there, uh, Peter, no doubt. About uh, the only way he'd get feet. that much space, yeah. wouldn't he? Lost his feet. I'm not even sure this yep. kick was uh, meant for him. But <laughs> I don't think it was, Jerry. He was in the right spot at the right time, and geez, he does that a few times. Oh, yeah. And he'll kick this too. Well, against that, he's against the breeze. Oh, good mark. And that breeze is uh, starting to it lift is. a little bit. Yep. Interesting, uh, the bench for the Tigers includes Harrison, Powell and Miranda uh, coming into this third term. So uh, Harrison, obviously, I'm not sure if he's injured. We might get Neil Curley to check that because he dominated the first term so much. Turner to Rogers to McLeod. Back it comes again. Jarman once more. That was intended for him. <laughs> On the lead, Jamison, who started the match well. He's kicked four goals so far into the forward pocket. Is that a push in the back to Bond? I think so. Very difficult shot. Now, yeah, Dougie, would you go with the boomerang or the drop punt? Here? No, we did this before. <laughs> well, Jared, I'd go the boomerang. I'd go the check side here. He's a right footer. What about uh, you, Neil Curley? Would you go the boomerang here? You've had uh, a lot more experience at this ground than anyone else. Well, uh, <laughs> he's gone to sleep, I think. Silence the is <laughs> deafening. <laughs> Well, he did tell me that uh, it is a difficult pocket from which to kick goals. That's not a bad sort of an effort. But I don't think it's going to get the biggies. Pittman has got the mark. There's a push out. It's going to be a free kick to Richmond. I saw the way the ball just bent away from the goals there. And I think the only way you could possibly get it to come back on the wind or against the wind may well be with the boomerang. Mm. Well, we'll get a comment from the King shortly. I think he's going to check on Harrison's situation uh, there, Jared. Turner kicks in. Connell. Now he is too far out to score. Bowden on the mark. Goes in short. Terrible kick, Tawny. Might have been intended for Pittman, but gee, that was a bad kick. Evans. Foreman Allen. Good mark. And give it to Prescott. Prescott. And forward of half back. Benny Gale. On the stat sheet at halftime, I noticed he and Wren, stats were just about the same. Pretty good uh, balance there. Blurton had five possessions when he came on in time out in the second quarter. That's it. Did very well. It's pretty predictable uh, the way that the Richmond was structuring that uh, forward assault. But Bassett's just a young player and uh, doing particularly well again. He has uh, he had a pretty good season so far. Tawny late. Now, how late was that? Not late enough on Connell to warrant a 50-metre penalty, obviously. So play seesawing between half back and half forward at the respective sides at the moment. Cutaways kick up and under. It's going to be a foot race here. Knights started at the centre circle. They need more out of him and this guy, Bowden. This one he should have taken Richardson. And then applies a tackle. Arguably could have been in the back though. Well, Neil, we've been trying to make a case for the check side at the other end, and uh, what about Ben Harrison? Yeah, well, he's about to come back on now. The uh, medical staff assured me he was OK, and he's about to make a change with him now. Thanks, Pills. Obviously doesn't like the boomerang. <laughs> I reckon Harrison's going to go forward. Bickley wrapped up pretty quickly. Now, Rashuda ducked his head and had the ball held to him, so... Ball up decision, probably the right one there. No addition to the half time score here at Football Park. Still 43 plays 33, 10 points in favour of the home side. Well, Holland takes out Wren. Oh, gee. Campbell, dispossessed. Rogers, centering kick from him. All pros, waiting down Evans, snaps. Not bad. Hit the post. Well, that was an, uh, an astonishing lack of a decision by the central umpire there. Well, it looked as if uh, Benny Holm just grabbed Sean Wren from behind. Oh, he did. So Bassett looking for lead to cross half back. And that gets the whistle from the umpire. Brings it out this side of the ground. Sean Wren the target. He doesn't let him down. Terrific duel, he and Gale. And certainly, statistically speaking, the honours are even at the moment. 
Lynch kicked towards centre wing. No, oh, I'll take it. That is too high against Michael Gale. And Johnson will take the free kick at right centre wing. Looks like Richardson coming off and Harrison going to full forward to stage for Richmond. Harrison starting in defence today was a little bit of a surprise. Did well, got a lot of possessions in the first quarter. Pittman, nearly the mark. Bickley goes in solidly, as does Knight. The two skippers figuring in the action. Costa had it, lost it. Prescott, good tackle from Costa. Blurton off the ground, did well late in the second quarter. Gets it to Gale, and that was well done. Look away, hand pass. Duncan Callaway. Up went Michael yeah. Gale and missed it. Still Callaway. Blurton. Wren intercepting. Connell. Now Smart, who's running out of defence, was terrific in the first half. Wren tool. This should be a goal. Bond closing. The check's out there. Jones got his wish. <laughs> And again, in the context of this game, a valuable one to start the third quarter. Six minutes gone and just the one major on the board. 15 points is the margin enjoyed by Adelaide, but uh, a little too much in that. So a chance for Richmond. They swing into attack. Not for very long. Johnson again. Confronted by Rogers. James, who's been impressive today. Bickley dodges a tackle from Proctor which was arguably high but the umpire calls play on Jamison play for the free kick Callaway underneath it that's Andrew Callaway and Andrew McLeod is injured we saw him uh, go down heavily in a tackle in the second turn he's yeah. taken off now and that's a big blow isn't it no doubt we'll get Neil Curley to check on that injury there well Pittman was blatantly pushed in the back Costa, Tyson takes the hand pass, snaps Turner will mark it again on the last line of defence looked like he was three quarters oh, yeah. off too can't argue with that Scotty Turner given the benefit of the doubt and that breeze freshening all the time Lurton Tigers really have to uh, make a burst here create something, get some goals on the board well they have the breeze at their back don't they Michael Gale Norman Allen and uh, Evans. Harrison and Bassett. Bowden took the hand pass, but he was uh, confronted by three or four opponents. Bassett again to James. Liked his game. Campbell and Tyson. Campbell playing the percentages. Tyson. Now, he paddles it further forward, but he kept it on the ground. Brian Sheehan penalised, I think it was Rogers in the second quarter for a throw for a similar offence, as we see McLeod with the bandage on the knee, and that's not a good sight if you're a Crow supporter. Next goal, very, very important for Richmond. They must get it. If Adelaide get it, I reckon it could be nearly all over, even this early stage of the third quarter. It's the ice on the knee, of course. The bandage, prosciutto. Tawny, Jarman. Rintoul spears the pass in towards full forward. It's all Richmond. Blurton will be able to tidy up. Tawny oh, missed the mark. Rintoul again tried to get it to Tyson. The hand pass left a little bit to be desired. I don't know, Doug. You describe it as manure on the ground at the moment. Uh, perhaps it's a little bit more sand uh, mixed in with the fertilizer, but it does look as if it's making conditions pretty uh, tough for the players out there to keep their feet. Yeah, you're right there, A lot of players have fallen over. I mean, mm. an easy passage to play. I mean, guys just running the footy and just losing their footing. Is that dangerous? I mean, at uh, Waverley, we saw a few years ago, a couple of knee injuries result from something like that. Rogers to Knights. I think that's alleged. Allegedly, sorry, yes. Bassett, solid in defence. Bickley. Holland on the mark. Costa. Forward of half back. Out to Hart. Hart kicks towards half forward. Sun certainly a factor in marking contest like that. None can take it. Smart tries to go off the ground. Bowden is there. Keeps the ball in play. Hooks it back towards Michael Gale, who marks on centre wing. Gives it to Knights. And again, Richmond up towards half forward. Holland. Daffy. 
Oh. Munro cut off the boot. Terrible kick again to James. That's kick for kick. Wren and Gale. Wren this time. Nobody running for him. So it goes long. Wren tour in front of Blurton. To Bond. Long kick by Bond. Just inside 50. Pittman. Gasper. Now Prescott from Andrew Kevaway. Wren again. Oh, James, he's playing really well, James. Bickley. Can the Crows get another goal here? Ducks in if they get one, could be just about over. Rashuda to Smart. Deserves a goal. Smart snaps. It might be coming around a little bit too much. One behind, I think. Yes, it is. Well, the uh, faithful here thought that was a goal. From where we stood, Doug, if you just followed the line of the ball, it uh, certainly looked like it was inside the goalpost. But the umpire was in the perfect position. I think it's fair to say it did an in-swing of late. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Gerald, I don't know what the turnovers are, but Richmond, I'll tell you what, have turned the footy over in this third quarter probably on a half a dozen times, which is very, very costly for them. Turn it to Michael Gale, just up from the back pocket. Gale kicks to centre wing, kicks to a contest. Andrew Kellaway. The cloud on the bench, Neil Curley, you might have some word for us. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad one, but it's not a, it's not a good one either. It's a jarred knee, and they're just icing it up for some uh, precautionary, and we'll wait and see. Thanks, girl. Powell coming back on. I think it might have been Tawny that went off. Jamison taking the hand pass to right half forward. Rintoul grabbed by Bowden. The ladder trying to get it out. But back to Blurton. Free kick to Richmond. And Bowden the recipient. Michael Gale. Both Gales doing well today. Stephen McKee preparing to come on for his first uh, crack at it. Brotherly love. Benny Gale. Ro uh, not Rogers. Turner. Harrison, Proctor, another turnover, James, They're absolutely Bickley. dominating there in the midfield, the Crows. You give it to Eccles, smart, and again, I've liked his game as well, gets rid of James with the dummy, oh. and again, well, turnovers, we've used it so often, but there's been so many, Jerry. Oh. Yes, it, uh, oh, it's really been a breakdown across both forward lines as Ben Holland comes off the ground for Stephen McKee. Let's hope he uh, has a successful crack. But the side that can uh, get their forward line organised best is going to uh, really go away with this game. Duncan Kellaway to Powell. Oh, that's a good mark. I'll tell you what, Doug. Proctor. Smart has been desperate to kick a goal all afternoon. I reckon in the final quarter he's going to penetrate. <laughs> Rusciuto. And again, we see Richmond breaking down across half-back. Eccles, smart. Well, he has been... Best on the ground. Up. There he goes. Nazi takes him on. Rintoul, that's a long bomb. That's a great kick. Oh, he stopped it. Positions for marks to Nigel Smart. He set that goal up. He didn't kick it. It was kicked by Chad Rintoul, but 22 points the difference is the bottom line. Knights... Foster can't catch him. Great mark over the top by uh, Smart. That by Smart. Ha. Tyson on his own. Eccles. Eccles. Eccles, sorry. Former youngster. Well, still a youngster, but formerly of the Preston Knights. Proctor. Late on Johnson. Kane Johnson. To set a wing. Foster. Not much on short, maybe Eccles again. He'll go a little bit longer than that. One on one, Pittman. Great use of the body from Gasper. Jarman did well to mark that kick. I don't think it was, uh, well, maybe it was intended for him, but he had left the boot awkwardly. Yeah, it had a, bit of, had a bit of top spin on it, uh, therefore it uh, dived, which really gave the man behind absolutely no chance, Duncan Callaway. As you said, Pete, pretty uh, pretty good performance to mark that one. Looks like Benny Gale has gone into the full forward area. Even though he's come up the ground now, looks like Scotty Turner's gone into the ruck. This is a hard shot. 
Darren Jarman, who's played in premiership sides with both the Hawks and the Crows. Kicking from 50, almost a cross breeze. He need to aim for the right goalpost. He's done that, but it's not coming back. In fact, it kept its line, strangely enough. And he's missed a five. So am I. Two behinds to Darren Jarman. Doug, they've got to find some winners in the middle of the ground. They've got Matthew Knights uh, taking the kick in. He has been moved into the centre, but they're just getting uh, thrashed in there at the moment. They certainly are, Jared. And uh, even uh, Matty Rogers is down a little bit on his foot from last week. Uh, Bowden's been uh, up and down as well. Uh, they are, and Prescott, of course, has got that tagging job as well, so on the shooter. So the McKee, they, I think, uh, getting his first touch. Young 19 year old Ruckman from Myrtleford. Johnson and Daffy, that's out of bounds centre wing. The last six minutes of the third quarter. Vital six minutes for Richmond. I reckon the Tigers would need to be within a couple of goals at three-quarter time. Pretty untidy passage of play here. McKee tries to get it out. Now they can, Evans. Rintour, a juggle. In the right place at the right time. Connell. Gee, his game's been impressive. Bickley, left half back. Richardson preparing to come back on for Richmond. Pickley goes long, Turner, Pittman, Gaspar, Turner's got it, he's been solid. Now can they get something moving? This is where they've been breaking down the Tigers across half forward. The same thing's going to happen again, Ormond Allen, did he keep the ball in? Not according to the boundary umpire, but... It Let's go down to Curls. Yeah, Peter, I think the comment you made, Richmond would have to be, in my opinion, two or three goals ahead at three-quarter time to have a chance of winning this football match. It's been a very disappointing quarter for them, and I think their coach would have something very severely to say at three-quarter time. Daffy uh, off the ground and Richardson on. This is where Rich Richo can really take the game by the scruff of the neck. He's got an opportunity to do that. Well, Smart's taken it by the scruff of the neck all day to Bickley. A little bit of a push there by Pittman, not enough to get a free kick. Oh, that's a terrible hand pass. Straight to Rintoul, Bond confronted. Blurton, another turnover. Rogers. Smart went for the specky, and Marinda stayed down, read it better. Now, distance shouldn't be a problem for him here with four minutes to go in the quarter. He's got that breeze, what there is of it. Good judgment there by Marinda. Uh, read the play brilliantly there, and... Uh, once again, as you said, Peter Landy, turnovers. I mean, costly. Well, this will bring them to within 17 points if Mark Miranda can kick it. First kick today for him. He's got it. First goal for the quarter for Richmond and first kick for Mark Miranda. 17 points the margin, so Richmond Certainly on the scoreboard, at least, in with a chance. McKee loses out. They've got to get a couple more before three-quarter time, you'd reckon. Oh, wow. I'm going to go. Bickley. Rashuda. This might be the quick reply. Well, if anybody for Adelaide was going to kick uh, one from this distance into the wind to beat this bloke, we saw Chad Rintoul do it. Not wasting any time. Getting a fingernail to it was Rintoul, the man you mentioned, but only one behind. Kicked by Mark Rusciuto. One goal, one. He's kicked for the day. So, but, an even three goals. Matt Connell, uh, Jared, one sort of play you don't realise gets so many touches here. He's had 20-odd kicks. I think he had one or two just quick ones there. I mean, unbelievable. 21 kicks, seven, seven marks as well. And that's off the back of a very good performance last week when he was in the Crows' best players. Uh, once again on the wing, getting a heap of possessions. And just about a set play. Gasper. Holland, Gale, Miranda gets back two kicks. Can he make it two goals? He can't. Evans should be able to go from there. Will he try to draw a man? Takes a player on. Uh, Just went for it. Too pass. much. That's a fortune. <laughs> it's marked by Richardson. <laughs> Sarah, that was uh, the Tigers' best passage of play. Yeah, other than the 
the lucky nature of that last kick, but at least they got the ball in there quickly. They got it out of their defensive area very smartly, and it came into a forward line that wasn't cluttered up with the likes of Sean Wren. Richardson for his first goal of the day. I'd say he's got it, judging by the uh, lack of noise behind the goal. Yes, he has. Two late goals by Richmond have given the Tigers heart and hope. Nigel Smart's gone into the forward line, as has uh, Darren Gasper for the Tigers. Wren beats McKee. Rogers, Gasper. Wow. Now, advantage paid. Here's McKee. First kick. Richmond mark. As he played wow. Richardson. Wow. I thought it was a mark. Richardson so, Richard. did too. Careful, Richard. Well, he wasn't careful enough. That's it. Takes the free kick. You can't argue with the umpires. Eccles. What do you reckon about that, Doug? Are you allowed to give the umpires a serve when uh, you've clearly taken a mark, or will at least the replay suggested he had? In yeah. the old days, you possibly could, but uh, maybe the umpires aren't taking any loop anymore. No, always give them a spray, Jared. You're able to give them a spray, but I just felt maybe there Benny Gard making a bit of hand in that one as well. But no, give him a cook. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, Holland's kick got the ball deep into Richmond's attacking zone again. So a late <laughs> flurry by <laughs> Richmond in the third quarter as Keating prepares to come back on for the Crows. Jared, there's nothing worse when you think you're right. Mate, you've got to unload, don't you? Let them know. Well, the umpire certainly uh, reacted pretty swiftly <laughs> then. He did. Just as well he wasn't mic'd. Big Lee. Greg Williams would have given away 20 free kicks a match. <laughs> bounce. Famous Prescott in the end. He was prepared to wait for oh. him to bounce. Eccles. Quick hand pass to Costa. Can the Crows nail one before three-quarter time? Bond has it taken away by Blurton. Good defensive punch to get the ball out of bounds. Right half forward for Adelaide. Prescott off. <laughs> and Sean sure is going to have a rest. Pretty handy player to have in reserve. Pittman, smart. Uh, the whistle. It's going the Crow's way. Ducky, what do you think? Well, I thought Benny Gale made a touch there Shoot. on that one there, that mark. Bond, hard one here. Another check side, Jared. No. Well, I reckon it's the kicker choice from that spot. One behind. Kicker check side. Or... It's the only one that'll work back out into the middle of the ground. But uh, I reckon you're being a bit harsh on Richo, Doug. You reckon it was a mark, Jared? I reckon it could have been paid. Yeah, it just looked like Gale playing in front of him there may have had a bit of a touch as well. The Knights last time went long. Oh, they got a goal from it. He's caught right. in the ball. Well, one and one. Remember, Joe, the last time he kicked long, got yep. the Gasper in the middle. They finished up getting a goal from it and decided this time to go short and pay the point. Well, he's claiming a handball to himself, and technically he certainly did, but I think I'm talking to John Russell a couple of times. Uh, the umpires are paying that as in possession, that little dinky chop out to yourself. He's been great, Kim Costa, too, on uh, yeah. Matthew Nice. Certainly cut him right out of the game, and uh, he just loves those really hard tackles and real tough football. Good player, Costa. Do you reckon Knights, he would have been looking for the hole to bury oh, himself in there? snaky, wouldn't he? That would be oh. the worst thing to do in front of Costa oh. gets the goal, almost on the three-quarter time siren. Well, John Russell sums it up by incorrect disposal, doesn't he? Well, he had plenty of time to get rid of it, Peter. Yep. Don't worry about that. So Keating slaps it down. Rogers. Ball hacked out to Johnson. And Johnson will be more than... Oh, he's smiling about that. A hammy there, Johnson. A little bit of a twinge the way he pulled up there. Now with McLeod already off the ground. I think Johnson's missed a couple of weeks. Uh, Neil, has Johnson just come back from a hammy? No, no, no. Big he might be. He might be going out of the hammy. Oh, beautifully done. Bond can't get clear of Holland, though, right on the three-quarter time siren. Well, it was ten points the difference at halftime. 
the Crows have extended their lead in that quarter despite the late flurry from Richmond. And uh, Adelaide does have the advantage of a very, very slight breeze during the final quarter. And despite a great start by the Tigers, they've just got such a balanced running side that the Crows, the likes of uh, Vardy and Rintoul and Tyson, have really added to their depth over the last 18 months or so. 65 to 46 at three quarter time at 45. <laughs> set for a thriller here other games being played at the MCG let's go down to Neil Curley on the bench yes well I think no doubt the favourite end is the end in which the Crows are kicking to but Malcolm Blight has some problems because Johnson pulled a hamstring in that last few seconds so he's got three injured players on the bench so he hasn't got a balanced bench at all to work with that does give uh, Geesham an opportunity to maybe exploit that situation but he needs some of his gun forwards like Richardson uh, Daffy and Miranda They've got to stand up and try and win some hard footy coming into that area. If, if Richmond want to win this footy match, you still have to favour the Crows, even though they have a depleted bench. Yes, thanks, Carl. So I was looking at the uh, flags near the new scoreboard down there. They're really standing quite out from the flagpole. Not so much at the other end of the ground, but certainly it would appear a wind advantage for the Crows in this quarter. Umpire Brian Sheehan just waiting the OK for or from the timekeepers. Rod Jamison, the major goal kicker for the Crows. He has four, got most of those early. And Keating, we notice, starting in the ruck. <laughs> Keating against Benny Gale as we start the final quarter at Footy Park. Crows with the lead, but uh, will it be enough? Pack of players around the ball, and once again, we'll see a ball up. And uh, Darren Gasper's gone to centre half forward for Richmond. And I think it's the midfield that need to lift. You need Rogers, Daffy, Campbell, and Knights really need to lift themselves here. Well, they've brought Ben Harrison on to Mark Rusciuto to start in the middle once again. They need his uh, drive from the middle. Sean Wren having a little bit of a rest. Gale wins it. Tawny spins out of trouble and then almost into trouble. Now there's a whistle on play here. It's going to be an Adelaide free kick. Now that was given by the umpire behind the play actually. Taken well, that Unbelievable, eh? And the kick has to be taken where the ball actually is in play. If it's closer to their goal, then it otherwise would have been. Greater advantage. That's it. Six and three. He's taken five marks and a very solid defender. Oh, great mark by Jarman. Can he turn on a magical final quarter? He's hooked it. He may have hooked it a little bit too much, I think. Judging by the lack of crowd reaction, one behind it will be to Darren Jarman. So he's kicked three behinds for the day. Just great body work there. He sort of pushes the opponent under the football and just judged it a lot better than about five other plays in that contest. Rogers. To Duncan Callaway, Jarman's man. Gasper and Smart. Smart with a good hip and shoulder taken out of the contest. Bowden applies a tackle. That was well done. Costa. Daffy. Good tackle again. And the ball up. Short of left half forward for Richmond. Kim Costa playing on Matty Knights. The last to get up. Harrison and Keating, Daffy across his body, up and under kick. Orman Dallin, the only one to really go for it. Nothing on offer. Except at midfield, and he finds Rintoul. Jamison had to wait. And that gives the opportunity to the Richmond defenders to again tie it up just outside 50. We'll see a ball up. 
and Andrew Callaway, number 39, giving it back to the umpire. Playing only second game. Pittman comes it out nicely. Rintoul, Gale snares it. Michael Gale, a little bit slow to get rid of it. Does well. Costa, box seat, good mark. Some of these eyes and everything. Looks for Jamison. Breeze at his back. Couldn't kick that, surely. Goes in short. No mark taken. Crowd thought it might have been a free kick. The umpire lets it go. Daffy. Kicks to a contest. Bickley out bustle. Is that going to be 50? No, it's not. Rogers. It's gone in short. Out to Daffy, and that's out. Out being the operative word. Out of bounds on the floor. So smart, one of the better players for the Adelaide Crows today. Bruce at his back. Two Richmond players in front, one of them's come down with it. Harrison. Bassett missed it. Tawny didn't. Richardson and Norman Allen. Norman Allen would be more than content to see that over the boundary line. Difference 20 points. Bruce freshening all the time. The Tigers are going to stand up now at the time. Well, I think they're doing particularly well in this uh, opening couple of minutes. Yeah, we've been here as players and uh, as commentators hundreds of times, Doug. Uh, and you know that the spectators here, the Gatlet's from, are just waiting for that first goal because they generally signals an avalanche. So Richmond can prevent them uh, getting an early one. Maybe they can uh, remain competitive right until the finish and pull off a remarkable victory. Prescott on. And uh, Tawny went off, I think it was, wasn't it, Curls? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of tired players down here now too. And, you know, Richmond just have to do some smart things here. Well, they can get a goal. Powell. At the back, Evans! No, that was so close. Richardson. That's a difficult pocket from which to kick a goal. He's given that a decent old try. The punches uh, need to be effective from the Crows. Caven couldn't clear the zone. Daffy taken down in the tackle. Evans, Bassett taken down by Powell. Ball jarred free. Held to him according to the umpire. Well, having a feeling of a crack the Tigers anyway. That's one thing we know. We've seen these first three or four minutes of this last quarter. They're having a real good dip at this. RHG, yeah, a red hot go. Gasper, Bowden. Well, it'd be a miraculous goal if he kicks that. Ormond Allen. Smart play to rush it through from behind and give the Crows a chance to regroup. And Richmond have had a lot of the footy early in the last quarter, which has been going five minutes or thereabouts. Bassett. And I like the game of this fellow too, James. That's terrific Particularly well. 15 and 8. And so many of this type of player. Bond's another one. Rintoul. Dyson. Connell's had a great game. Well, we'll give him a wrap and he kicks it straight to the opposition. Gasper to Rogers. And Rogers has been good too. Bowden needs to lift. He can lift Richmond with a goal here. Goal on par right underneath and he's put it through. Here come the Tigers. Tigers decided to bring back Sean Wren. Or he will be back shortly in response to that goal by Bowden. So just 13 points the difference now. Richmond won't go down without a fight. Rogers nearly intercepted that hand pass from Rashuda, who goes again. All Richmond. Turner. Bond. Lurton. Well, he got him. But got the boundary line instead, so that was OK. Rin still on the sidelines. Done a fair job, young Blurton on Bond. So sort of certainly cut him out of the game a fair bit. Holland over the top. Blurton. Knights. Gale. Back to Ashley Blurton. Came on just before half time. We've got five possessions. Bounces beautifully for Daffy. Richmond could just about pinch this match if they keep going in this vein. Richardson. 
Puts it out in front. Oh, yes, it'll be a mark. Great kick. It was a great kick, that, wasn't it? Oh. Pretty fair grab in the finish, too, by Gasper, but it was set up by a terrific centering pass by Matthew Richardson. And the Tigers are still competitive. They've got to convert, obviously, and this one needs to go through, but it brought that ball into the forward line. And uh, their forward structure, Doug, just looks a bit uh, more competitive at the moment. Yeah, a lot better. Good move by Gooch to bring Gasper down there. Richardson lifted him, too, and that man in the back pocket actually blew it, and the kick was very, very good way out in front of uh, Daffy there, so he could run on the ball. So, good play from the back line of Blurton. 13 possessions, Burton came on, as I said, just before half-time. Should kick it. Needs to kick it. And does kick it. An individual goal kickers now for Richmond. The difference back to seven points there, and they have one multiple goal kicker, Ben Holland, with two. They looked the better side early in the final quarter. Gaffey again. Bends it around towards right half forward. Richardson again. Big name Tiger player starting to find some form. Ormond Adam again with good defence to get it out of bounds. But the Crows, well, they're looking a little bit tired. Well, Phil said it three quarter time, but uh, danger lurked just around mm. the corner because of their uh, problems with injuries to running players. That may prove to be the telling factor, Joe. Wren back onto the ground. Bowden and his mother goal. Oh, they got a sniff. They got, got a sniff. He's got it. They got more than a sniff. They got a meal. Oh. Oh. It's amazing that this game's turned around, Jared Hill. He's fair dinkum, like, at three quarter time, I thought to myself, really, how far Adelaide here. And all of a sudden, only about, what, seven or eight minutes into the last quarter, this one has gone bang, 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 and then right back in this game. Well, they were never going to win it unless they, uh, their stars stood up. And Joel Bowden is considered one of those, a very talented player, match winner. And uh, well, he's had a poor game, but he's had a great 10 minutes. 11 kicks by Joel Bowden. It looks like Eccles has gone back onto Darren Gasper. Smart has gone into the forward line. One point the difference. Again, Richmond out of the centre. The Crows have stopped to a walk so far. Oh. Bowden again. Dare we say it? Will Richmond be in front after this kick? Oh. Richardson! Oh. The big names, the cream, whatever you like, has come to the top. As you said, Doug, they've got a sniff and mm. they can smell a very big victory here. Which means their midfield will all start uh, running again. And they've got blood the ball rule. out of the centre so think, many times. I think Jared, the blood rule here with uh, Nick Daffy. Yep. So Richardson will have to wait to take the kick. We haven't yet seen who's going to come back on. Nobody lining up on the bench at the moment. Or did somebody come on that I didn't see? They're just maybe waiting and uh, assessing their opportunities. Okay. It is Mark Renda who's going to come on. He wasn't quite ready, obviously. Not well, moving too well, Miranda, is he really? No, he's not. <laughs> Richardson looking for the all clear. A goal will put the Tigers in front. And he's got it. Richmond lead. It's an eight minutes by Richmond, and the yeah. Tigers have pinched the lead. Can they pinch the match? Wren. But they're not getting it out of the centre, and they won't here again. Campbell, Costa, Knights. Duncan Callaway. Campbell's kick smothered. Lurton confronted by the skipper. Powell. Just a better effort from the Crows there to try to get it away from Richmond, who did gain the initial possession after the bounce. I think we're about to see 10 of the most intense minutes uh, of footy that you'd like to see anywhere. Gee, that's a decent old bandage. Going to be a great test of character for the Adelaide Crows. Ren and Gale. Campbell. Had it, lost it. Powell. On to Harrison. Tigers doing all the running at the moment. Prescott got underneath it. So too did Rintoul. The Crows need something as a steadier. Gale on heart. That looked like an almost illegal hand pass. Rin off a step. Jarman Shawley lost sight of the footy in the sun. Tyson. Off 
the ground. Jamis Hill, that's what the players needed. Boy, what a steady up. His fifth goal. Back in front of football oh. park, and you don't need me to tell you that. Have a listen to the crowd here, the voice. Oh, have they found it? Norman Allen oh, oh. across the half back line for the Crows. Gail, smothered by Costa. Tope by Rashudo. Geez, he's tough and going really <laughs> in the uh, clinches at the moment. Straight boots going. The odd fist having a crack at the footy. No place for faint hearts. Oh, well, we see a pack of uh, 20 players around the footy. It's going to uh, resemble rugby league, I reckon, the next five minutes. Looking for breaks on the outside to get a long kick there. Rusciuto couldn't take the tap. It's almost like a, a try. Off the ground, Norman Allen. Jamison on the burst. And good little defensive prop to uh, take it over by Ashley Blurton. Curls. Peter, this is the stage of a game where you sort the wheat from the chaff. You really watch the players to stay behind the ball and do a, have a real red hot crack for their team. Girls, who have Adelaide got on the bench at their disposal that's fit? Keating is the only one available. Well, not what you call the most mobile player. Now, the crowd asking for deliberate, but Blurton did it from about 25 metres away. Tell you what, you, you do uh, take your life in your own hands when you do that. It's an unbelievable risk. Now, you won't mistake like Daffy. There's a free kick going Richmond's way here. I think when you handball it, Jared, about 15 or 20 metres, that's the only thing up your sleeve, I think. If you're a bit closer than that, you're in a bit of trouble. Holland, Rim and Gale, a terrific duel. Neither can bring the mark down. Press got all into that one. Sensational tackle, but not rewarded. Well, he's reinvented himself since coming here to the Crows. Norman Allen is as tough as nails, and he goes so hard at the foot, he's really bulked up in the weight room. That's just a great tackle. Norman Allen again. Knights, Costa, Powell, this possessed him. Oh, flattened by Norman Allen. Downfield, that'll be. Bring it back, Matty Connolly, who'll get 50. Oh, and I think a player's committed on that circumstance. He was half a yard after the kick. You've got to allow a player to continue through with his tackle or his bump, and it's that close. Rogers kicks to a contest. Caven gives the crow something. Inside 50, long bomb, wham bam, thank you very much a goal. Filler at Footy Park, and it's hard to believe that these two sides were separated by 137 points when they met in round 17 last year. It's a little bit different today with the Tigers really finding some snar under Jeff Gushin. Plenty of time for both teams here. Yes, we're just past the halfway mark of the last quarter. And Peter Vardy, who was KO'd in the first <laughs> quarter, is going to come back on. Rashudo, oh, a good catch, and a point of the catch, not a mark by Rintoul. Oh, oh. Terrible kick. Holland, and 50. 50. Yeah, it'd have to be 50, wouldn't no. it? No. A little bit lucky. He's off now. Smart game. Holding the footy. But can he come behind? That's a call play on, he can. Hart was just sweating on him and he would have heard the call and then bang and just a little bit of an experience there by Benny Holland has uh, come up with a very dangerous free kick when we duck the head I'll uh, Sean Wren dare I even mention that free kick Barty comes back on he'll get a warm round of applause from the crowd Wren has been replaced after a uh, bit of a lack of awareness in that poor kick smart with a breeze at his back kicks and has missed I think I tell you what, uh, Malcolm Block must be pretty snaky to take Rintoul off because Vardy hasn't played since he's got that heavy knock. Yeah. Richmond by four points. Tigers going into the huddle. The Crows going man to man. Scotty Turner to the other side. Duncan Cutway on the burst. Can't take the mark. Knights, Jarman, Harrison. Andrew Cutway takes it out in front of Bond for a throw in. Crows right forward pocket. Adelaide needs a goal. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left in the contest. The crowd at Footy Park roaring themselves hoarse. Pippen at the back. Couldn't get a fingernail on it. Bomb tripped up. 
tries to get it to a teammate. Socket off the ground by Rogers. How? Campbell. The Tigers come away. Rogers breaks for him at centre wing. Still Rogers. A bounce. Kicks the half right ball. Kick. Oh, terrific kick. Richardson. Gasper. Indes oh, undecided. Gaffey. Looks like Elephant Man's left child. <laughs> Evans might have been taken high and rushed over the boundary line. Great kick there by Rogers coming onto his left side of the body. I felt Richardson probably bred, led, led to the wrong spot at that stage. Made him kick on his left side of the body, but he was equal to the task. Well, it was just a great takeaway from defence by Richmond. I thought they may have well uh, conceded the behind, but they got it out the back door and away they went. Four points to the margin. Harrison, quick hand pass, snapped by Richardson, did it hit the post? Umpire's down. He is too, he's KO'd. He got split, he got shot from it. <laughs> I didn't see what happened, and neither did he. Hole actually was. <laughs> well, we know Richard was incensed at the end in of third quarter, but we can categorically state that he wasn't the man because he was kicking the football. Just there, there, there it was. He ran into Richmond Park, couldn't see who it was. Oh. Umpire Sheen, I think it is, isn't it? Brian yes, Sheen. Brian Sheen. Bleeding. Is he going to come off? Blood rule. <laughs> now, the emergency umpire is Troy Burton. Can you imagine coming on being your first or second game, Jared? Come on this situation, a game so tight. He certainly chopped a fair whack in the snores. <laughs> there it is. We've got two Carmen out there. Maybe we'll see another mummy come out. Troy Burton gets the word from Brian Sheehan. I haven't seen an umpire go off for a long while. Can happen. Let's hope Brian's okay. Good luck. Uh, Dale, Campbell. Quick hand pass. The unmistakable, Nick Daffy. Ormond Allen up high. Snap by Bowden. One behind. Well, Bowden's lifted in the last quarter. Now, can the Crows come back? They've got six and a half minutes. They've trailed by a goal. And you would reckon that if Richmond got even one more behind, it may be enough. I wouldn't write the Crows off this ground. Uh, oh, I'm not writing them off. Any day, even if they got another goal in front. Oh, okay. Academy Award performance, Benny. Gasper. Campbell, well done. Harrison. Gee, was he going in solid? Just around the footy, Doug. I reckon the yeah. Tigers are just a notch up on the Crows in desperation. They certainly are there, Jerry. Ticking that midfield. Brian Campbell's lifted his game. He's been a very good player since half time. And he got plenty of footy before it. Uh, he's had a great game for the Tigers. Wren, Bickley taken high. Nothing for yeah. that. Gee. Oh, oh, it felt whammy. Gee. <laughs> oh, where's the fourth umpire? We'll become the fifth, sixth, and seventh there, but that did look like a free kick to Bickley. Come back on the ground, Brian Sheen, please. Richardson has the mark. That may prove a very costly decision, or lack of one, whichever way you'd like to interpret it. Well, I think it was a Rusciuto that had his neck taken off. Bickley. Bickley. His head's still on the ground. <laughs> He's just looking for it. Look at his body. Hard shot from there. It is very difficult. He's kicked two goals, Richo. Kicks this. It's going to be difficult for the Crows. Now, Holland's got the mark. Shot in the fence here, buddy. And he gives it to Daffy, but uh, the umpire had ordered play, uh, whistle time off. Run around, run around, there's no one there. Now we have a look at uh, that tackle. No doubt it was high initially. He don't run around, but I think he's got it. He has! His third goal, two in the first quarter and one in the last. 12 points the margin. Have Adelaide got the time and the willpower to come back? Harrison from big, Wren's knock. Big last quarter from Harrison. Connor. 
plenty of possessions, but not too many in the final quarter. And the injuries, as Curls pointed out, key players taking their toll. Holland to Michael Gale. Gasper again calls for it and again gets it. Finishing plenty of running. We said earlier the fitter side would win. Maybe it's going to be Richmond. Bassett, good mark. He's been solid. Had plenty of work to do in this quarter. Oh, that's a good mark. Running with the fight of the pill. Kellaway, who's been on Jarman pretty well all day. But Bowden, mm -hmm. he really has lived the jury, hasn't no he? No doubt. He's uh, been a match winner in this final quarter, uh, along with uh, Benny Harrison. And uh, as a left footer, he's probably a fair chance to kick this one. Taylor's looked at two boards. Matthew Richardson's been very good in his last year. Yes. So earlier, the cream coming to the top. Well, it's two goals the difference here. Any score, I think, would give Richmond victory. It's home. It is. And so are the Tigers. <laughs> so three goals to Bowden. And it joins Ben Holland as their leading goal kicker. And I think they can start celebrating Richmond fans and Crows fans in front of us who have thrown in the towel. They're on their way. I'll tell you what, uh, we saw a great shot of the Richmond cheer squad there. You've got to give credit to uh, any cheer squad member that comes over to football. Oh, park. Yeah. It is a, an unhealthy and a pretty unsafe environment at times and they're going away with a victory. Something to say for Richmond fans after the humiliation of the 137 point drubbing in round 17 last year. Of course against that they came back at one four of the last five matches under Gieschen in 97. He missed the five, missed the eight by just a couple of points. Rogers kick towards centre wing. And the other Callaway, Andrew Callaway, playing only his second game. Well, you mentioned Richardson. Been good. He has, especially in this last quarter. Score answering the challenge, kicking against the breeze. Trailing at three-quarter time. They look down and out, the Tigers. Richardson unloads with a big one. Wren in front. He's tried his heart out, Sean Wren. But injuries to key players taking their toll on Adelaide. Wren. Evans has got him. Jamison. Now down in defence. Where he's played most of his football in recent times. Michael Gale, the hand pass. A little chip shot to Daffy. The unmistakable Nick Daffy. Jeez. The mice would jump up onto the table when he walked into the room. Yeah, the crowd is slowly uh, walking out of here at Footy Park, and I'll tell you what, it's the last time I saw that, Jared, as you said, 95 and Fitzroy did it. Shocking sight to see. I think uh, the bandage typifies the courage of Richmond. Oh, they've been great. So Nick Daffy from 45 metres. I think he may have missed the duck. One behind. Well, they did say look shot to pieces at uh, three-quarter time, the Tigers, and this has been a remarkable turnaround and maybe one of the best victories that they've had uh, in the 90s. Well, Jared, 19 points down, kicking probably against the score, and then it's been a superb performance by the Tigers. And they've added seven goals, Doug. Yep. And uh, really have never looked like being beaten in the last quarter, I must admit. Gale tries to paddle it out. Rogers does. He's been good. And Michael Gale, like his game as well, very consistent and solid. Knights also lifting. And a good duel with Costa. Richardson went for the big specky. Couldn't bring it down. Bassett. And late long hand pass on the end of a Titan. Past Evans. Connell. Connell's kick towards centre wing in a contest. Richmond again at the fall of the ball. Harrison, he's been also very good. Rogers, good tackle. Gale. Can't nail Bickley. Got to try something. Jamison, well, seemingly playing at both ends of the ground. Uh, Rod Jamison, their leading goal kicker today. Taking the kick uh, came from Barty. Maybe too little, too late. But six goals to Rod Jamison. 
Richmond will take home the four points. It's been a fair upset, this one, though. Gee whiz. Yeah, I, mean, I, I must admit, I didn't give Richmond much chance. I think he'd been over, even though I was very impressive while they played against Melbourne last week. But having Adelaide the footy park in front of 40,000, it's a nightmare. And, uh, and the way the Crows have been going, they've been going pretty reasonable, so I thought they'd be the one to beat. The very disappointed Malcolm Blight going to the rooms already. Richmond will win their... I was going to say, for the first time this year, will win two games in succession. It's been win-loss, win-loss, etc. right throughout the season. After beating Melbourne last week. I to Robert Walsh during the week, and he said after uh, coaching against the Crows last year and their faithful uh, loss, he looked up on the scoreboard and there was a message at the end of the match, thanks for coming. <laughs> Rogers to Evans. <laughs> Just wait until the siren to see uh, what creativity the scoreboard master has at the moment. Harrison, left half forward for Richmond. Richardson nearly. Evans, gee, he's tough. Connell oh, gets gang tackled. And I think that's typified Richmond's effort in this last quarter. They just wanted the footy a bit more. Fucking packs, haven't they? They have. Certainly they've looked good a bit. Adelaide with key players on the sideline through injury. Well, they've, tackled, they've tackled everything and bumped everything inside, uh, Doug, oh. including an umpire. Uh, they knocked him over, Brian Sheen. Come Gap. back. And they're starting to sing already, Tiger fans. Callaway, Duncan Callaway, can he kick a goal? He can't, it won't matter. And that's rushed through. I don't think it will be a score. It won't. It won't matter. Because Richmond has turned around a 137 point thrashing last year to emerge victorious here at Football Park and for the first time in season 1998, winning two games in succession. And what a ground on which to do it. They also got Bell here uh, during the year in the NZ Cup. True. And Jeff Geeshan is down on the ground and he is absolutely alone. And, uh, no wonder he's just about to embrace Tony Jewell, the Tigers' chairman of selectors. And what about their uh, chairman, Leon Daphne? It'd be like selling a thousand missions in one week, I reckon. Unbelievable, Jeff. Seven goals in the last quarter against the wind, against the flow, against 40,000. Like, unbelievable call for the Tigers. Yes, I must admit, I think that Adelaide had it wrapped up in three-quarter time. Great game by Campbell. According to Campbell, yes. Four quarters. He did play uh, solidly, nine and 14 for Wayne Campbell. Here's Curls. Yeah, I've got uh, Brenton Gar with me. Well, Brent. Great personal game, but an even better team one. Yeah, it was, it was great, Neil. Yeah, Rennie's been playing pretty well, so we had to try and nullify his effectiveness. He took a bit of the ball, but decided to come down, you know, from three or four goals down, show a lot of character, considering last year's effort over here. Working into the breeze in the last quarter, what did, what did the coach have to say at three-quarter time? Well, we just had a really, really tough pre-season, and we backed ourselves to run and create, and I thought the boys just ran and ran and ran and created opportunities, and probably outrun him in the end so you found some forwards too you found some forwards in the last quarter yeah i mean if we can get the ball up to one-on-one -on -one, we've got some big boys who can catch it pretty well so it was great yeah great win enjoy it thanks Neil. back to you boys thanks, okay thanks curls and it was a quarter of up and downs uh for the crows they were they were uh Away early, but they couldn't get the ball through the middle, and then the Tigers just took total control, Doug. And, well, what about Matthew Knights? He's had an absolute low in his career, uh, kicking that ball, uh, handballing it to himself and getting it turned around, and then he leads, as skipper, this victorious Richmond side down to celebrate with their uh, cheer squad that have come all the way here to Footy Park, and uh, they'll go away pretty pleased. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. It's quite on there, and uh, it's fair to say it's like getting eight points from here at Footy Park. A lot of performance by the Tigers. Jeff Gushin, of course, uh, surrounded by the hierarchy and uh, the rest of the coaches. They're pretty pleased, and uh, I'm sure even them at three-quarter time would have been just one of the few people here at Footy Park to uh, think that they're a chance. And Richmond got Western Bulldogs next week, so it's a big game for the Richmond club. And Nick Daffy, another player that struggled all day, but uh, in the final quarter, he lifted his rating. And Duncan Galloway, Doug, had a magnificent Brilliant. game. Yep. He really did lift, uh, took a couple of marks, took a couple of uh, tackles on board. And uh, a mighty performance by the Tigers. And Gishan has said they want respect and they've earned it here today. And uh, for the break, 
and viewers going to the Melbourne Collingwood game at the MCG. Fourteen eight ninety two to eleven thirteen seventy nine, and the Tigers very hard to pick. I must admit, Jared, I don't think I've tipped the Tigers right more than once this year, and they've done it to me again today. And I think, like most people, you would have expected at Football Park, Adelaide would win, especially when they led at three quarter time. Well, I think you had that uh, yellow and black blood running through the vax, Dougie, to think that the Tigers were going to get up over here. They've broken the mould. They've got off their win-loss, win-loss uh, record. And, uh, well, we see a pretty happy Tiger camp down there. And the Bowser Footy Park and a victory over here, Doug, is uh, a unique experience for most. And when you have one, you've got to celebrate. You certainly do got to celebrate. And uh, as we said during the call, that Matthew Richardson had to really take the game by the scruff. I thought his last ball was absolutely brilliant. He was the main man behind their, uh, their certain comeback. And Blurton played pretty well too when he, he came good. on. I think uh, Peter highlighted that a number of times. And these are great for any club. They just build the spirit around the place and let the boys go for it. some of his Tiger teammates pulled up just a little bit sore and repeating the final score for you Richmond 14 8 92 defeating Adelaide 11 13 79 at Football Park after the break some 